while the last airbender is one of the greatest pieces of western animation of all time the 61 episode three season series showed that not only could a children's show be impactful it could actually be really really good from the avatar wiki the series follows the adventures of the main protagonist ang and his friends who must save the world by defeating fire lord ozai and ending the destructive war with the fire nation i won't go too in depth with the spoilers but the show is phenomenal and if you haven't seen the show yet i absolutely recommend it to everyone but the basic premise is the world of the avatar is a world in which they are superhumans as it were who can control one of the four elements being air water fire and earth and the avatar is a step above and has the ability to control all four elements the avatar is essentially an extension of nature and they are supposed to be a guardian of peace for the entire world now getting that basic premise out of the way there was something that i noticed upon re-watching the series that i realized was never ever addressed in the entirety of the series and when i say the entirety of the series this also includes the sequel known as the legend of korra in season two of avatar the last airbender ang needs to find a teacher to teach him earthbending because although he is the avatar and he is capable of learning all four elements he also needs someone who is proficient in the element to instruct them on how to bend that element and in this journey he comes across a blind wrestler by the name of Toph a young girl and to get her attention he joins a fight with her in a coliseum and he cannot earthbend at this time so he utilizes his airbending to win the fight Let's watch that clip. Where do you go? Please wait! There you are! So in doing so, he wins the fight. Everyone in the stadium is upset because Toph is the reigning champion. But afterwards, a person who was also a contender in this fight arena by the name of Boulder speaks to the organizer and says something that is very, very interesting. Let's watch that clip. I'm telling you, the boulder was standing right there. I saw the kid strike, but there was no earth bending. Nothing made contact. The blind bandit just fell out of the ring. She must have took a dive and split the money with the kid. What he said was, he saw no earthbending. He saw nothing. And Toph was knocked out of the ring. And because he saw nothing, he believes that she took a dive. Now in the series, Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang comes from an airbending tribe that named him Avatar a hundred years prior to the event of the show and he fled the tribe because he did not want the responsibility of being the Avatar and in fleeing he went into the Avatar state an extremely powerful form which froze him in ice for 100 years and when he awoke he was the last airbender thus the name of the show so it could be understood that Boulder did not understand why Toph fell out of the ring because he is not familiar with airbending because in his lifetime he hadn't seen an airbender but what's extremely interesting about this is the show provides us with visual effects for all airbending shown
But with this knowledge from that statement from Boulder, we are made to know in the same way that in Demon Slayer all the special effects are just artistic expression, no one in the Avatar universe can see airbending because just like in our world, air is invisible. I get it, some of you may be thinking, of course vault air is invisible, of course no one can see it. I agree, it may be silly to point it out, but I just think about all the times we saw the artistic expression of air being bent in the Avatar universe, the light blue shade gradient that we see whenever Aang throws out an air blast, or Korra does it, or whenever Aang is on his air scooter riding around, everyone else in the Avatar universe is seeing nothing happen at all, unless there is debris being kicked up by Aang, lest he's moving dust or dirt or water. With his air bending, it looks like nothing is happening at all. So his air scooter essentially looks like Aang has the power of flight. If he creates a tornado and picks up no debris, essentially he's just floating 100 meters in the air for absolutely no reason. When he uses his staff to slice wind at individuals, they should never react because you can't see it coming towards you. If it is just air with no debris, you don't know what's happening at any point, thus making airbending essentially the most powerful form of bending in the entire universe just because at all times you have the upper hand because your opponent never ever knows what to dodge with fire bending you can see if it's a fireball if it's a fire wall if it's a plume of fire you can tell exactly what's heading your way same thing with water bending if it's a tsunami if it's a puddle if it's an ice spike you can see it with earth bending if it's a pebble if it's a boulder if it's a mountain if it's a mudslide you know exactly what you're going to face at that time but with airbending, it can be a slice of wind that cuts you in half, or an air punch that knocks you off your feet, or a mini tornado centralized to just that area, and you would have absolutely no clue what was happening until you were hit. And I find that absolutely fascinating. Again, if you haven't seen Avatar The Last Airbender, I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. Behave yourself.